What's up, interwebs? It's that guy with that channel and stuff. Um, we are going to compare, uh, real quick, a couple of things. Uh, the brand new Mini 2X gauze and compression from H&H &H Medcore. And then, or Corp, they're a corporation. Evil corporations using capitalism to destroy the world. Uh, versus North American Rescues. Uh, mini responder four inch fold flat emergency trauma dressing. Now this was a uh, disclaimer. We sell first aid kits and save people's lives with them. Whatever. This was sent to us by H and H as a trial. We know nothing about it. So we're going to pop it open and see what it's like. And then, uh, make a determination. So let me spin this around. My wife is going to do all the camera work. So if it's Yay. terrible, you yeah. can blame her. Blame me. Poe's not here, otherwise we would blame him. I mean, he is here. He's just not. What is this? <gasps> nothing. It's nothing. You didn't see anything. You didn't see. What is it? it would, I don't know what that is. Could that be a new kid coming? I don't Go. know. Go. All right. So this is the mini 2X right. gauze compression from H&H. &H, intended for small to mid-sized wounds. And it comes with one mini tack wrapping gauze and one mini compression bandage. So... This has your gauze and your compression bandage in there. It retails for about 10 bucks. This is the North American Rescue Mini Responder 4 inch emergency trauma dressing. Retails for about four bucks. And this, but it is it backs compressed gauze. This retails for about two bucks. So you're about six bucks here for about 10 bucks here. However, look at the size wise, they're kind of comparable ish. So let's just freaking tear this apart and see what we're dealing with. So this is the Mini 2X from H&H. &H. North American Rescue, seven and a quarter inch trauma shears. Vacuum sealed, of course. And so you pop this open like so. This is linen. That's a nice gauze pad right there. So this is for covering the wound, not for packing the wound. Here's our instructiones. There are right there, step one, step two, step three. So this is a mini ETD. That's all it is. Gauze right there. It's about three feet long before you stretch it. It's about three feet long before you stretch it. It's yeah. pretty, stretchy. pretty stretchy. It's got the retention clips on the end right here. Um, looks like about a four inch by six inch gauze pad. And then you've got this big old soaker pad right here. So that is, this is like linen right here for packing so actually pretty good stuff right here so you could put this directly over a wound like so um to apply even more pressure to a superficial laceration or something like that or if you had a deep wound what you would do is you'd take this and you would pack that into the wound and then you'd get as much of your packing material as possible into the wound. Then you would take the rest of this, lay it over the top like so, and then use your compression bandage to apply pressure because wound packing and pressure takes your clotting time from about 10 minutes with just direct pressure to about three minutes uh, when you pack the wound and then apply pressure. And by doing that, by using a pressure bandage like this, you free up your hands so you could go work on somebody else or something else. So that's the H and H right there. H and H MedCorp. Um, this is the North American Rescue four or four inch. The, they have the tear tabs right here, like so. Other side towards wound, dummy. Thanks, thanks. And they're they're the same width as you can see. And so. The NAR, North American Rescue, what does it look like? Huh. Looks like about the same size gauze pad right there. It's got Velcro on the end, like that. And it's, let's see. It's got, it's about the same length. It's got the same clips on the end here. Like so. But one of the things I love about the North American Rescue products is this big patch of loop here on the end. So after you get this stuck onto somebody, you can fold the loop, press the loop down, and then that means that you can use two hands to secure the C-clips here rather than one 
hand rather than fighting with the clips. So it's why we use North American Rescue bandages in our kits because predominantly because of this hook and loop right here. Whereas the end of the H and H doesn't have that, which means you're going to be trying to two hands to police this, to get this thing in there, to keep it from coming off. Whereas with the NAR, you can just fold that over and it's stuck. Well, there you go. It's stuck. And then you can take your time with the C clips. So that's, that's a good move on the NAR. And then, but with the NAR, you're gonna back that. And the NAR's a little bit longer than that. It is a little bit longer. Yeah, it's uh, probably half a foot longer. So, yeah, probably half a foot longer. But this guy here for four bucks, so this here is like 10 bucks retail. Um, comes with the packing gauze. The NAR, you're gonna need compressed gauze to go with it. You can see it's got the little tiny right there. Pop that open. Here's your compressed gauze for wound packing. Get this going. And this is what you're gonna be stuffing, stuffing into the wound, right? So when it comes to wound packing, this stuff will work. And it'll work for a lot of other things too. This stuff will absolutely work. And again, you're taking your clotting time from, th uh, from 10 minutes just with direct pressure to about three minutes having the wound packed and backed with a bandage. Okay. So here's your standard compressed gauze versus the, the linen here. This is nice. I mean, this is to the point where you could, I'm not saying you should do this, but in end times, emergencies, whatever, you could boil and reuse this. So that's a, I mean, it's, it's linen. You can see this is a much nicer fabric. Now, remember, you're shoving this into your screaming buddy. So the, you know, how nice does it have to be? But it's very nice. Very, very nice. It's very nice. Tremendous. Very nice as compared to kind of the cheesecloth that you got here with your standard compressed gauze. Right. But it'll work. And so the question is, is the North American Rescue for about six bucks all in, a better value than the H&H MedCorp Mini 2X Gauze Plus Compression for 10 bucks retail. I like that gauze. <clears throat> this? I like that, yeah. I like the H&H gauze for sure. But I think the, the North American Rescue is a better pressure bandage. Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, I would take this and I would put it with this. Right, instead. And I'd be super happy. I'd take the, the gauze from the H&H &H and put it with the NAR bandage and I'd be super happy. So there's, there's a plus and minus here. Uh, all in all, I'm super happy to continue using the North American Rescue product in all of our kits because they're just... It's good. They're just the best. Yeah. It's not that this this H and H MedCorp is bad because it's not. It's perfectly adequate. But the the deal, the thing that allows the NAR bandage to pull ahead here is, is this loop. loop. It's the loop at the end, and it's a half a foot longer. Because when you're freaking out and covered in blood, and your buddy's screaming at you, this helps a lot. This really helps a lot versus having to bust your ass to try and get this thing on. It's a the best thing about the North American Rescue right there. Same size pad, same elastic, same same everything. So if you get one of these for 10 bucks, you're definitely well served. It's a good product. Uh, and this, this gauze rocks. If you get one of these for four bucks and you add one of these for two bucks, for a total of six bucks, you're definitely well served. Um, these are for small to medium sized wounds. Uh, and it certainly gets the job done. So we'll spin this around. All right. So y'all tell me in the comments, what do you think? You think the H and H for 10 bucks? You think the NAR with the compressed gauze for six bucks? <coughs> what do you think? What do you think? Um, I think you're well served with either product, but, uh, I like the North American rescue. Nothing against H and H, but I like the North American Rescue. We're we're vendors for both of them, so whatever. And if uh, you want to, 
save lives while in service to the Father's kingdom and experience the abundance of his provision and blessing, you can check us out at refugemedical.com. What's that? I don't know. It doesn't exist yet. You don't know about it. What is this? What is that? Oh my gosh. All these things that don't exist yet. What is this? Whoa! All these things that don't exist yet. All these great ideas. Bless y'all. Marketing says shalom. Marketing says shh. Shalom. <laughs>